realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with three primarily, primary needs or faculties, if you like. The physical needs, the spiritual needs, and the intellectual needs. We have, number one, physical needs. And so, physical, we need to eat, we need to drink, we need air. If we, if we don't have these, these things, we're going to die. Number two, we also have spiritual needs. And these spiritual needs must also be fulfilled. If they are not fulfilled, then what happens? Many things. First and foremost, depression. Secondly, meaninglessness. Just living your life carpe diem for the moment. You just feel empty. You don't have a higher goal in life. Right? And therefore, if you don't have a higher goal, you create a goal and you make it the highest goal. And that is why in our times there are so many causes that people are so passionate about. Things that were not that important a hundred, five hundred, a thousand years ago. Whether it's ethical issues, environmental issues, animal issues. But people need a higher goal for which they want to dedicate their life to. It's in fact ingrained in us to do so. And Islam of course answers to that situation, a spiritual need. And then there's an intellectual need as well. That your intellect needs to be satisfied, your, your curiosity needs to be met. So you have the physical, the spiritual, and the intellectual. And Islam comes with... Enough for all three of these things That it tells you how to live your life physically It tells you how to live your life spiritually And it gives you the answers for the meaningful questions Why am I here? What is the purpose of life? Why did, why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, create me? 